Hello Scorpio, welcome to your timeless tarot nightcap. Today has been a cloudy day and uh, oftentimes when it's cloudy there is a sort of like a possibility of rain and when there's a possibility of rain when we go out we usually wear an umbrella or sometimes we prefer to just remain at home and spend more uh, uh, dedicate ourselves more on activities that are a little bit mm, less less uh, what you call this uh, well not really less physical because we can still do exercises in our daily activities but somehow uh, when the clouds when the sky is cloudy we are a little bit more uh, predisposed to spend more time in silence and in solitude so I don't know if right now you also have that kind of mood right now it's a good mood, especially at night time when you kind of slow down from your daily activities and would like to spend more time in silence and solitude. Uh, maybe some spiritual cleansing, freeing ourselves of whatever energies we've uh, picked up along the way. At the same time also listening to the guidance of the universe or guidance of God and our spirit guides. So I... Uh, Sometimes tarot reading also helps us listen also to the guidance that we receive from the spirit realm. So uh, as the day ends, I'd like to invite you to join me in a short tarot reading and hopefully as we rest, we also find some insights that will help us in our daily adventures or our life's journey. So let us see now, Scorpio, what can we find from our tarot cards? Wow, see, <laughs> for your main energy, you have here the Four of Swords. So yes, uh, somehow the, the energy, even the cards are, are yeah, promoting uh, rest, silence, and uh, time alone. Okay, so whatever tools of the trade that you have, it's time. Now it's night time. It's time for you to put them into their proper places and just relax, ease off, ease yourself off into this silent contemplative mood okay now we have here the five of pentacles we have here the seven of cups and then we have here the ace of wands and finally wow we have here also the ace of swords so you have two gifts from the universe one is an inspiration and another is something that is spiritual something that will give you inner strength something that will set you on fire it can be also that the inspiration will set you on fire so this is something that is it can be an enlightenment if you are right now undergoing spiritual uh, transformation it can be an enlightenment a certain truth will come to you and you will realize oh i never thought of it that way okay at the same time it will set you on fire okay so at the end of the day it seems that the universe is giving you a certain gift now you might have had some challenges today that maybe somehow for some of you you might have felt alienated but you see these people as the darkness starts to arrive they are trying to find shelter so it's as if whatever uh, experience of rejection or experience of need that you might have experienced today it's time for you to end the day not to worry about it what you have to do right now is to find a quiet shelter in order for you to find rest okay oftentimes uh, when we would like to help the poor i used to work with some of my people who are close to me sometimes we would try to gather some food and just try to share some of these things that we are able to gather in or to those people who are in need the best time for us to share these things is at night time at night time because usually at daytime people are so busy and even the poor are busy trying to find ways to to help themselves so oftentimes you will not easily find them in the streets but at night time you will find them in those areas where people can find shelter so at night time it's easier to find them in order to give them the assistance so it's the same also for us at the end of the day it's good for us to find a quiet shelter in order to find rest 
and allow the universe to regenerate us. So somehow I feel this is what is an that, that this is the invitation for you right now with the five of pentacles. Whatever challenges you've had today, whether you have felt that you were rejected or whether you might have felt that people did not love you or maybe you you felt that you had to struggle to feel a little bit secure financially or whatever it is whatever challenge you've had to the day for the whole day it's time for you to let go of all these worries try to find a quiet place and allow the universe to regenerate you and if you spend that time in solitude and silence just as this person this knight who withdrew and found a place to rest you will realize that the universe will be giving you a lot of things today actually you see already two inspirations here but it's not the only gift that you are receiving you see here you are also receiving seven more cups and uh, the cups can symbolize relationships can symbolize also certain spiritual gifts because the cups also sometimes symbolize uh, the spirit realm so it's as if this, the universe is giving you a lot of gifts we have here the ace of wands the ace of swords and then we have your seven cups you are receiving a lot of gifts from the universe and it seems that the universe is inviting you find a quiet place in order for you to appreciate the gifts that we are giving you so the universe would like to give you certain gifts and for you to appreciate it and to make the best of those gifts spend some time to rest Try to hang your laurels for a while. Try to let go of your defenses and just let the spirit guide you. It's time for you also to replenish your relationship with the divine because it is the source of your inner strength. We have here the strength card. So your strength comes from within and this is the time for you to go within. You see here, uh, we have also here the moon. The moon is uh, symbolizes also the mystery of the inner life. Uh, a crab is going out of the water this can symbolize also the gifts that the divine is giving you you see here a lot of yards falling from the moon so you really are receiving a lot of messages from the universe right now it's time for you to close the chapter we have here death no whatever painful experiences you've had today it's time for you to close that chapter and open yourself to the new gifts that the universe is giving to you right now the universe the gifts that the universe is giving you are the things that you will need in your journey for this new chapter we have here the magician the magician shows and tells us that everything that you need for the journey is provided already by the universe the universe symbolized by that sign of infinity and at the same time it's like uh, the universe is telling you you are on you are on for a new quest the, the chariot shows us a journey that is just beginning and you are well provided you have the armor you have the protection of the the, the covering of the chariots and the chariot you have the uh, for me the vehicle that will allow you to move forward to this new endeavor or this new adventure so the universe has provided you with the inner strength provided you with everything you need it's time for you to move forward to a new chapter of your life and everything that you need is provided by the universe so uh, I feel that the universe is inviting you to close this chapter now and tomorrow is another new day face it with courage face it with the sense of adventure don't be afraid to move forward and in the end <clears throat> we have here the ten of pentacles this journey will end into success success that will benefit you and also the people around you it's not only you but the people around you especially those whom you love so this is a very good reading for you right now scorpio it seems that the universe is preparing you for another adventure and this adventure promises a lot of good things okay so we will end this reading with some oracle cards Okay, let us see what oracle cards we have for you. 
Okay. <clears throat> Balancing act. Okay. You may be putting all of your time and energy into one area and neglect neglecting other areas that need your immediate attention. Okay. I think it has something related to the, the Seven of Cups. The universe is giving you a lot of gifts. You need to maximize all of them. Don't just focus yourself in one gift. You even have two other aces here. So you try to balance everything. Uh, try to attain a certain balance. Maximize all the gifts that you are given. Don't concentrate on one, but try to work on each of them gradually. So it's like... Uh, Make the best of all the gifts that you are receiving right now. Freedom of soul expression. You may be holding back from expressing yourself out of fear of losing or upsetting someone around you. Okay. Uh, I think it has to do also with the inner strength. Uh, somehow the message just tells us to have the courage to be who you truly are. Because I feel you are undergoing right now, this new chapter is uh, a chapter where you have received a lot of gifts from the universe. And the gifts that we receive are gifts that would help us become who we are meant to be. So it's like somehow this message prepares us not to be afraid to be who we truly are. If you try to look at this picture, you see, it's like a person who is in an overlordotic view. This is his head, this is his chest and his abdomen. It's directed forward and this is his knee. So it's as if he's leaning forward like that uh, with his chest and his uh, abdomen moving uh, directed forward. So it's a person who is confident, a person who is not afraid to show who he truly is. So I feel what is being asked of you is not to be afraid to be who you truly are especially now that you are already receiving everything that you need so that you will evolve to the person that you are meant to be. So don't be afraid to be different. Don't be afraid to follow that drummer that continues to create the music of the drum within you. Okay, so this is what I can see for you right now, Scorpio. I hope you were able to gain some insights and some inspiration from it. Thank you for the likes and the comments that you have given to the channel. And if this will help somebody, don't hesitate to share it with them. Thank you also for my subscribers. For those who are interested of subscribing, oh, you are very much welcome to do so. I look forward to seeing you in our succeeding videos. Until that time, may God continue to bless your ways.